Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm sharing with you how I organize my outfits as well as my capsule wardrobe. So I am honestly still building on this capsule wardrobe and decluttering things and putting things into it. But today I just wanted to share with you some of the basics that will help you have an organized outfit every single day. So if you don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, basically it is a collection of clothing that can be all worn together. So you think about it, if you purchase items that you know, all color coordinate and stuff like that, you are always going to have something to wear together. So you can mix and match everything every day and always create a whole new look. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. And of course, if you do, I'd love you to stick around, subscribe and turn on the notification bells so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so if you watch my Pinterest inspired wardrobe makeover, you would see exactly how I've organized this, but I'm gonna quickly just show you before we get right into the outfit organization part of the video so this is just how i organize my wardrobe so basically i've just organized it all into colors i used to have it where i'd organized it all into like jackets in one pants in one and i did it for the pinterest wardrobe organization and i actually really love it i find it easier to find things because i already know what color they are so when i know what I want I can just go straight to that section and most of this stuff you can see a lot of it is black because a lot of this is work stuff and then I do have a little hook here which I did have on the back of the door which you guys would have seen but because I've got so much room in here I've just put it in here now and that's just for my dressing gowns and then I do have one of these space saving things and that is just for like all my costumes and um all my dresses and stuff like that so they have their own section just because I never really use them so I'd like them to be out of the way so this part here you can see there is no clothes at all in here this is like my bedding and stuff like that you can check out the video Pinterest video for that one uh, I do have a basket just for accessories so that's got like beanies scarves and uh, like gloves and headbands and stuff like that then I also have one for sports as well so I have this one in here which is just for my shorts and that's just how I organize them in the Marie Kondo folding method I do have like a fair few shorts I know uh, because my weight fluctuates so I like to have some in an 8 and a 10 so I always have something that fits for the season so this is just how I organize in here. I just use the Marie Kondo filing method. So I can see exactly what I have in here without having to pull everything out. And I absolutely love it. So now we're just going to share the outfit organization part of the video and how to build that capsule wardrobe. Okay, so the first tip I have for you is to really know your body shape. So if you know if you're a pear or an hourglass so what is your body shape once you have determined what your body shape is go and check out some videos or check out pinterest and it will give you an idea on what clothing actually suits your body type so once you know that you're able to purchase items that look flattering with your figure so a really good example of this is i am an hourglass figure so all my weight pretty much goes to my boobs and to my guts and if I wear a high-waisted, something that is too high-waisted, I have no torso because I'm so short. And I definitely look like Steve Urkel with like this front bum thing going on because my weight sort of sits in that area. So I have to really choose carefully and make sure something is not too high-waisted for me. Otherwise, it doesn't look nice on my figure. The next thing is the coloring. So you want colors that are going to suit you and complement you and make you look amazing. That is something that you need to learn from going into shops and trying things on. So I can't really give you any pointers on that because everybody is going to be different. But the one pointer I will give you is to always stick to your neutral colors. So have your base colors for like your t-shirts and your jumpers and stuff like that, which may be in those colors, you know, your colors, the ones that really suit you. And then go for neutrals like black, white, your denims. They're always going to be, you know, neutrals that you can have in your pants, even like brown navies or tans, you can sort of get away with them in the pants as well. So the first classic piece would have to be a leather pants or a leather jacket 
or a leather skirt. So this is a leather skirt. I love this. It's got a beautiful gold zip on the back. The brand is Ava. I have no idea. I got it from an op shop. So you don't have to spend lots of money to have a nice wardrobe. Now the best thing I like about this is I can dress it up and I can dress it down. So if I am going out somewhere really nice, I can dress this up with a nice dressy top and some jewelry and accessories. And if I am going somewhere just out to the shops and just somewhere really casually, I can just wear a nice singlet with it and it is going to look really nice and casual. So this one here is one of my favorite pieces. I feel the same thing with a leather jacket. You can sort of wear like a grunge t-shirt and a pair of jeans and you can sort of like give that biker look but like a casual sort of look. And then you can also dress them up as well just like I have with this leather skirt to you know make it look nice and dressy for the day. Okay, so the next two pieces, I'm gonna call them, put them as two pieces, are uh, body suits. So both of these are body suits. So again, I can dress this one up really, really well because it's black. I feel like black and white, you can dress up and down really, really well. Like something like this. And it is dressed up like quite well as well. And then like a nice pair of gold long earrings and stuff like that. So that is definitely one of the pieces that I love. I love the fact that it's got the snap clips at the bottom because it is very practical. The other thing is that I love about them is that they've got the thick straps. So the thick straps, anything with the thick straps like this, you're able to wear with a bra and you don't have to worry. Like if you're a mum like me and your boobs just don't hang the way they used to, then this is a great alternative. And in the winter time as well, I get really cold so I do often just wear them as singlets and because they don't ride up because they've got the they are bodysuits, you can get away with it really well. Now I do also have this bodysuit as well. My boyfriend will probably want to kill me, but this one here is from Bras and Things. They do have them in the black as well. So if you want like a lingerie set more to wear underneath your clothes, then this one here is an amazing one. It is called The Hope, I think. I will leave it in the description box below for you as well. So I think every woman needs a hairy leg skirt in their cupboard, like a hairy leg skirt or I'm white and pasty and I don't want to show you to the world just in case I blind you. So I think everybody needs one of these in their wardrobe, either a long skirt that covers the entire legs or a long dress that covers the entire legs. And that is just so, as I said, in the winter summer, you've got something to wear all the time. So that is one of my essentials. And the best thing is in the winter, you can put a pair of tights under it and you can wear it all year round. So, Okay, and next up on the agenda is this one here. This is a Calvin Klein print. Uh, you don't obviously need to go get the brand name, but the reason why I love this and this is one of my essentials is because it doesn't hug the body too much but it just hugs my boobs and with the print on the boobs it accentuates the breast. It makes it look bigger but then it takes the focus away from the stomach because I've put on literally like eight kilos in this pandemic. And I think as a woman, we need something that we feel comfy in absolutely every day. So if we are bloated and we've got a period of eating something that we shouldn't have eaten, which is always me, then, you know, you need something that you feel good in. You've got something to wear that you can accentuate your goods that you do have and um, take away from the focus of the parts that you don't feel so comfortable on about that day. This is another one here, uh, which is a witchery coat. You guys would have seen me wear this one and I absolutely love this beauty. I love the fact that it's got this fur on it. I think it looks makes it look more expensive and it's so cozy. And then it's got the gold detailing on the buttons. I think anything with black and gold, the gold always just makes it look that little bit more expensive. And yeah, it was expensive. So this is a what not to buy. <laughs> so this one here, I love it. It reminds me of old school Baywatch and that's why I bought it. I just thought it was so cool, but it has no snap clips at the bottom. I always, ugh, I can't wear it in the summer. I can only wear it on a really hot day. And when I do wear it, I have an issue that I have to wear something pretty high waisted because this bit is like really tall up here, like really long. So I will end up looking like pretty woman. And it's just, you know, it's not flattering to look like a prostitute. So 
I really love this and I still do wear it, but I have to be really careful about what I wear. So this is a what not to get if you want to organize wardrobe, is to make sure that you have something that you can literally wear with everything every day. And I can't wear this with everything every day. So denim is always something that is always going to be in fashion. It's always something that is so easy to coordinate with. And spending good money on a really good pair of jeans is never going to go astray. If you don't have the money, you can be like me. I have these pair of jeans that I'm wearing are actually Bardo jeans I bought from an op shop and I've literally just done all the rips in them myself. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and it has helped you, you know, organize those outfits and be more comfortable in your own skin and, you know, be confident in what you're wearing and how you look for the day and yeah, be able to really know what to buy when you're going shopping. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed and if you do want to see more from me, I do have an Instagram page where you can catch me on and also a Facebook page which you can see me throughout the week and I'll catch up with you next week for a new video. I'll see you then. Bye.